I will show you how to measure the mass of the IO lab device, which is housed inside the duct tape roll. So the entire contraption consists of the duct tape roll as well as the IO lab device housed inside it. In order to do the rotational dynamics lab, you will need the mass of the entire contraption. So to do that, the procedure is as follows. First, you need to slide the IOLAB device into the duct tape roll gently so that it fits snugly inside it. Then you need to screw in the eye hook into the, uh, the force sensor, which is on the bottom of the IOLAB device. So then I would like you to place the IOLAB device, as you saw in the earlier video, it has to be placed upside down with the y-axis facing down. And once it is sitting on a flat surface, make sure it is not moving, and then I would like you to turn on both the acceleration as well as the force sensor. So you are going to record data for both the acceleration as well as the force sensor. So press record and then record data for a few seconds, you'll notice that the acceleration as well as the force sensor, they flatline. The force sensor must be consistent with zero. And when you look at the acceleration data, you will notice that the acceleration data for the uh, y-axis is the one that is consistent with gravity. The other two, the x and the z-axis, are indeed consistent with zero. So once you've recorded some data, which is flatlining, which is the zero point data, I would like you to lift up the IOLAB device and hold it steady for a few seconds, just as I showed you in the earlier video. So I'm going to do that. So I've now lifted up the device and I'm holding it steady for a few seconds, and then I'm going to bring it down again. So let me stop the data. So here you can see I've recorded data when, I, uh, when the uh, device was lifted up. That was over here. So I lifted it up using the eye hook as you saw in the uh, of previous video. And so this little bump here corresponds to when I lifted it and then here I've held it steady for some period of time and then I placed it back onto the surface of the table. So what you have here is data for both the acceleration due to gravity as well as the force uh, readout from the force sensor. So in the analysis section, the next video, you will see how to employ these data sets to determine the mass of the contraption.